Hello and welcome back to Uta's Have a Rich Corner YouTube channel. I have to apologize. We were really, really busy this year with all the harvesting and all the shows we had. Um, but now it's time. It's slowing down. Um, now we are back to our YouTube channel and we want to provide you with all the information you need about alternative herbal medicine. So right now we know the flu season started, if you like it or not. Um, and if you have a really bad flu, like a running nose or maybe sinus infection, headache, a bad cough, um, respiratory issues, and it's not going away with, for example, mooline tinctures or plantain tinctures or any other alternative medicine you can take for the flu, then it will be time for antibiotics because then everything is sitting too hard in your body and you're fighting and it's not getting better or not getting away. So today, as I said, I want to talk about antibiotics. For example, I have four here. We have here in the store and we use our own, of course. You know, we are not using any medication from the doctors. So we have here ginger. Um, to show you, the ginger looks like this as a ginger root. Or when I put it through the grinder, it looks like this. Then we have oregano, which is known, you, I'm sure you use it in the Italian kitchen for pizza, pasta. And this is how it looks before I put it in the grinder and make pills out of it. We also have Echinacea here as a tincture and this is the way Echinacea looks before it's infused in alcohol or in glycerin. Also a good antibiotics is gloves. Gloves, I want to put it here so you can see that I forgot it. <laughs> So you can see all of them. Let me show you again. So this is ginger root, ginger powder, oregano. Then we have echinacea and we have the gloves. So what <clears throat> the point is when we take too much um, antibiotics from the doctor like penicillin or whatever they are called and you get them over and over and over again your body is resisting he said oh, I know this and I'm not reacting on this anymore so it's a constant threat that we share with representatives of the plant world we are exposed to attacks from disease causing bacteria if they settle in our bodies and become too powerful for our immune system we fight them with antibiotics um, that's what I said the four for example ginger oregano echinacea and cloves they are more but these are as I said the four we are using on our own and we have available for you in our store so ginger here the main reason, as you can see, is nausea, but as always, there are so many benefits for you and your body, so I have to figure out which one I put on the label. So on the labels is nausea, but it is definitely an antibiotic. Um, ginger contains ginger rolls that keep bacteria away. The spicy root, this is the root, ginger root, um, has an antibacterial and anti-inflammatory effect 
on respiratory infections. So here when your cough is not going away or you cannot um, get rid of all the fluid and you cough and cough and cough and it's sitting. Um, it's also promoted blood circulation, digest digestion and combates nausea. That's why I say um, for nausea it's known. Ginger is known if you have to fight with nausea, which could be when you have the flu as well, um, with all the coughing and everything and the fi uh, fever. And so it could be that you feeling sick and you have to, yeah, need something against nausea. Uh, ginger can be enjoyed freshly. You can grow it on your own in your yard. Ginger, like termiac, they are both roots. Um, but you have to keep them separate because it's hard to see when they are growing because the roots are under the um, earth. You cannot see which one is which. So make yourself, if you grow it on your own, make a little sign, ginger, termiac. Otherwise, you mix it up. So you can also use um, ginger in a tea or as we have here, a capsule. I will also make tinctures. They are already in the making. It takes a while until a ginger ti ginger tincture <laughs> is done. So this would be the first alternative for um, a flu which is not going away and you need some antibiotics with herbs, herbal antibiotics. So... Um, you should not take ginger when you are pregnant or breastfeeding. Um, people with heart condition and people with diabetes should not take ginger without talking to the doctor. Do not take ginger if you have a bleeding disorder or if you're taking blood thinning medication, including aspirin. Ginger capsules, as I said, are available. The tincture will be finished soon. It takes uh, a longer time to make tinctures. So the next one, I'm going to the Echinacea, which is this one here. This is Echinacea. It's combining right now with the cloths. So this is Echinacea. Echinacea is a beautiful flower it's purplish pinkish and it's growing like everywhere in in our front yard so echinacea the plant increase the body defense it does this by stimulating the body so called non specific defense function accordingly echinacea is used for colds fluke like <laughs> fluke <laughs> Flu-like infections, upper respiratory tract infection, runny nose, and yeah, short the flu, um, which is going around right now. Um, Echinacea is known for its immune stimulant and antiviral properties. It's useful for boosting the immune system and treating the symptoms of the common cold or flu. It's a true natural antibiotic widely used to treat respiratory <laughs> diseases. Okay, so we have available right now the tincture in our store. And the herbal capsules will be ready soon. So I have to ground the echinacea. Um, which are the, here the flowers and the roots and the leaves. So you can more or less use the whole plant, the echinacea plant. But I have to grind them so I can make the capsules. But as I said, it will be available soon. So, cloths. Cloves is also a natural antibacterial agent and it's very important for infection, which is the flu. Um, the development of resistant 
um, is constantly increasing and conventional antibiotics are increasingly losing their effectiveness. Alternatives are needed. Unfortunately, it is not difficult to find such a natural antibiotic in the nature. 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 I'm sorry, it's late. <laughs> After all, natural substances always provide the inspiration for chemical medicines that replace the effect. So disease-causing bacteria and mold have little changed against this powerful herb, the gloves. So let me have a... Hmm? It's... I mean, I know it from when I use it in the kitchen, but I have to tell you, I did not make any medicine out of it so far. It's in the making. Right now, I'm making tinctures. As I said, takes a longer time, and I have to ground them to make um, herbal capsules out of it, but it's in the making. So, for example, cloths can fight food germs as well, such as um, colibacterium, Staphylococcus aureus, and Bactylus cereus, better than garlic, mustard, mint, or cinnamon. So, it is really, really a powerful antibiotic, um, the cloths. As I said, tincture is in the making and the herbal capsules will be available soon as well. So, now, oregano, which is the second one here, which is oregano. Um, oregano has been a medical herb and natural antibiotic since ancient times. Even the ancient Romans knew this tasty spice and we'll still use it today. Most of the times you realize that um, many of the spices you are using in your kitchen have also um, medical health benefits for you. And oregano is one of them. And I'm sure everybody has oregano in the kitchen. If you like pizza and pasta like we, then it's a must in your kitchen. And it's very easy to grow. So you always have fresh oregano um, on hand if you need it. So you take um, oregano as an antibi antibiotic here as a pill. I <laughs> will also um, have the tincture available soon. So you can take the tincture, which is, I always say the tinctures are more or less an emergency helper because the pills, they take longer until your body is taking everything um, in the circulation. But the tinctures are really, if you put it under your tongue and or in, in a zip of orange juice, if you don't like the taste, then it will be faster um, and you have faster the benefits of this herb. So, if you are wondering why I'm looking there, I have everything written down because I cannot have everything in my mind. Um, but it is what it is. So, I think we are done for today as I said ginger antibiotics oregano as an antibiotic um, echinacea as an antibiotic and cloths so if you have and this is usual when I say this if you have any question please feel free and call me 402-305-5047 or just stop and or shoot me an email or stop in the store. Give me a call before. Um, so even if it's outside of our normal business hours, I'm available and I can give you a time when you can come in. So as always, I am not a doctor and I will never ever give you any medical advice. I'm your master herbalist and 
everything I am explaining to you is from our own experience, from the experience, from our family, from our customer. But if you have any additional question regarding your health, you have to go and contact your doctor. Okay, so this was the video for today. And yeah, tomorrow another one is coming.